I'm getting lots of comments about the uh, ordinance, the Leon Valley ordinance as justification for the impounding of the vehicle. So you're saying that if someone is arrested, then the police can travel as far as they need to to impound the vehicle from private property when it had nothing to so with the nothing to do with the arrest. Prove that to a jury. That's not what I'm saying. I never said that. Um, but first of all, let's look at the facts. This is the Leon Valley City Hall. This is the Leon Valley City Hall parking lot. This is the infamous common Joe sidewalk chalking spot because he's retarded. And this is the parking lot somewhere in here is where Mr. Freeman's vehicle was. It is not unreasonable to believe that the police could have looked out a window and seen Mr. Freeman accessing the vehicle. It is not unreasonable that they were fully aware of which vehicle was his. I'm guessing that there are probably cameras pointing outside this building at some point or another. I'm guessing that the police were watching. I'm guessing the police knew that his vehicle was literally next door. So to go as far as to say that uh, they had to go searching for it, it was not in the area of the arrest, is a little ridiculous. Let's there, there is a reasonableness standard to the Fourth Amendment, to searches and seizures by the government. So if you try to push the facts out to the point where Mr. Freeman was parked in China and he was arrested on the steps of Leon Valley's City Hall, then that would be a tad bit unreasonable now, wouldn't it? For them to go out to China to get his vehicle. However, for them to go into the very next parking lot over to get his vehicle, that might be a little less problematic. Now, as to whether or not the water guy, alkaline water, this fella right here had sole control over this parking lot, well, there was the El Monte barbecue, world finance loans and taxes. I'm going to suggest that perhaps the uh, world or alkaline water tree, whatever the hell it is, may not have sole control over this parking lot. So I still am not entirely certain that it was up to alkaline water tree whether or not Mr. Freeman could keep his car parked here for any extended period of time. Am I suggesting that Leon Valley will win? No, I'm not. Am I suggesting that they have a reasonable argument that they could make to win? Yes, I am. It's gonna, it is going to come down to a judge determining whether or not it was a reasonable, whether it was reasonable for the impound to take place. Now, as far as searching the vehicle, uh, Katie V. Dombrowski, the community caretaking function, inventory searches, they are legal. If, if the vehicle is impounded lawfully, if there is a lawful impound, then the police can and should search the vehicle. They're not looking for evidence of a crime. They're, they want to know what's in the vehicle so that you can't come back later and say, I had a million dollars in electronics in here. I had, a, I had a full bag of Bitcoin stuffed between the seat. So they inventory what's in it. So that they know what they're liable for. So they can take anything that may be expensive or likely to be stolen out and put it into someplace more secure. I know you don't like it. I know you think it's just tyranny in action. But there's a reason that the police are allowed to do that. It's to protect themselves and to protect you and your valuables while you are incarcerated or detained or, or what have you. So I hope this clears it up. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.